Now, you know, it's great to see everything pass, but, you know, you want to understand how our tools uh, provide you the information or, or indicate the information to you when a board fails. So what I'm going to do is flip one of those switches on the board um, and show you how it fails. So I flipped a, a switch S6. Now, before I actually run the test, I'm going to go into the schematic and do a search for S6 so that we can get an idea of what we expect the failure to be. So S6 is a normally open switch. So when I, when I flip it, it closes this and creates a short. That short happens between um, this net SDRAM data 2 and SDRAM data 3. So if I run the test, it should show me a fault in that area. So we can see it did fail. Now I need to look at that failure. And basically, it says, okay, I found an interconnect test fault. It's a bridging fault, and it was detected between these two nets, SDRAM data 2, SD data, data 3. It tells me where the most likely areas of this short occurs, and then also what devices are on those nets, uh, whether they be boundary scan pins or non-boundary scan pins. You can also look at the test vectors that uh, were executed. So this is a list of all the test vectors that were executed. And you know we can just scroll down and see um, a huge number of them. You can also filter it down to if you only want to see the failed nets. Uh, you can filter down even further if you only want to see the failed pins. Um, you can also identify the vectors in a graphical format. So if you're more comfortable looking at waveforms as opposed to ones and zeros, that feature is also available to you. So that's a bridging fault. Um, what I'll do is also inject a, another fault for an open. And again, what I've done is I'm going to do a search for uh, S8. Okay, so S8 is down here. Now this is a normally closed switch, so when I, op when I uh, flip the switch, it opens this circuit, and I can see that this, this goes to pin 20 on my Xilinx CPLD, which is reference designator U5. So when I run the test, it should show me that U5 pin 20 has been opened. So I ran it again and it failed. I double click that failure and I can see, okay, my interconnect test failed again, fault detected on net data bus 2, receiver U5 pin 20 is open or stuck. So that's, that's pretty much the uh, advanced diagnostics capability. Now you can also from here launch